Of course you have. Get to interview with honey. Yes, yes. <laughs> we are with the one and only, the beautiful Amarosa. How are you doing this evening? I believe I'm on the red carpet with you. Uh, we have, this is a big moment. Over the television, and now I get a chance to be interviewed by you. Well, I see you all over the television, and now I get a chance to interview you. And so I'm so just so happy to be here with you tonight. What's your, what are you looking forward to at the show tonight? Well, I'm a part of the nominating committee, so I feel good about the choices that I made. I, I can't wait to see who won in my favorite categories. But I'm excited about seeing Eric Holder. I'm a political junkie, and I think it's great that the Image Awards stops and shows and celebrates the contributions that African Americans make in entertainment, music, and politics. Right, no, absolutely. And you mentioned how unique this award show is and how special it is compared to other award shows. And we're obviously recognizing African-American achievement, but what else makes this award show so special? Don't you see? It's like homecoming for all of us. It's, it's almost like a reunion. All of our friends are in one place. We get to see each other, hug each other, love on each other, and just commune together. This is the place where we come and we get to just be us. And you've been involved in politics for so long and activism and just involved in the community. What do you think are the main issues that organizations still need to deal with today? Well, clearly, we have challenges that are unique to an organization who has been along, around for so long. There is a need for us to expand our youth division. There's no question about us. There's a need for us to expand into industries and areas that we have not established because we have been working so hard on civil rights. There are other areas, human rights issues, that go beyond the scope of what we've done. We need to look at those issues. We also need to look at our brothers and sisters in developing countries, like Haiti. You know, I'm doing work there. I think that although we fight the struggle here, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora need some attention as well. Absolutely. And you're an inspiration to so many. Who inspires you? My mommy. Mom Wave. Oh, and she inspires me too. It's so good to see you. Good to see you. Remember John, don't you love? Good to see you. And one more question for you. So you um, have obviously seen this organi organization grow over the years, and we've seen with the uh, aftermath of Eric Gardner and Michael Brown, young people mobilizing and marching across the world. How do you think the NAACP can re-engage the youth to really join this movement and really join the organization? Well, I joined the organization when I was nine years old. I was passing out leaflets for the NAACP, and so they've never lost the youth, but how to engage them in a meaningful way is really what the challenge is, and how to engage social media, and how to engage folks who think that the organization may not still be relevant. And the way to do that is to re-energize the youth by speaking to issues that speak to them, that touch to them, that make them excited. And that's the way the NAACP can connect with the youth today. No, absolutely. And one more question, technology. I know you're a social media. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, by HU. There you go. DC represented HU. Yeah, we are vice and girls. Absolutely. Oh, I like this. I like that. We no, do have an HU movement. On yeah, no, that's important. You got to so have those bison. moments. On the carpet. So right. well, I'm a honorary bison just because I live so close to the university. Yes, you do. And I know so many bison too. One more question. So, social media is such a big part of your life and your profession. What is your favorite social media platform and why? So, oh, I just like connecting on, I still like connecting on Instagram and Facebook. Yes, you know, Facebook owns Instagram, so it's like being the same. But I like that my fans can communicate with me. They send messages to my inbox. They, you know, might tag me in something that's interesting. So, I think that these are platforms that allow public people like myself to connect with folks, to hear what's concerning them, and to engage them. No, absolutely. Well, have a great night. You look so beautiful, and thank you for stopping by. Absolutely. Yes. No, we are partying tonight.